What is this? Your birthday present. My birthday present? It's milk. It's pea milk. Hey, what's up family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And also, don't forget to hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. So what do you mean this is my birthday present? Well, your birthday was yesterday, so I decided that we could do a little milk product review as celebration. Happy birthday to Happy me, birthday I to guess. You. Okay, so we have, this is Ripple Unsweetened Original Plant-based milk. Mm -hmm. This is original, and what is that? This is unsweetened vanilla. Unsweetened vanilla. Okay. Wanna know what this is paired with? What? That just egg. Okay, I got a couple of glasses here. Which one are we trying first? Let's go with I unsweetened say we try the original. original. Yeah, did you shake it? No. It says that it needs to be shaken. I don't know what's You have in to it. shake milk? Yeah. Is it chocolate milk? They do have a chocolate milk, but that one wasn't unsweetened. Oh, okay. It seems very thick. It kind of looks like almond I, milk. Yeah. It doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. That's terrible. Oh. Okay, well, the problem is, is we got to try that one. So we're going to have to finish what's in that glass. Wow. I am not. Wow. You got to down it. You got to down it. I'm not drinking that. You got to down it. You just got to down it. Oh. Oh, God. I'm going to puke. Oh. Okay. Let's go with this one. We gotta go, maybe vanilla's gonna be better. <sighs> maybe vanilla's gonna be better. <sighs> I'm literally crying. <sighs> I can't open it. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Okay, we're just gonna do a little bit. I feel like I should give you a lot considering you bought this for my birthday. This is my birthday present from my son. I don't even still don't smell anything. It's a little better. It's a little better. It's a little better. I'm not Want to try it with chocolate? <laughs> sure. What is that? It's chocolate milk. It's like keto oh, chocolate milk. Oh, let's do that. Okay. I couldn't finish mine. I don't know how you drink yours. It's called Hold Your Nose. Okay. Let's try this. Now, you're, a serving of this is two teaspoons to eight ounces. We'll just put like a little bit in there. Give it a little chocolate flavor. That's a little more than a teaspoon. No, it's, I'm putting about a half of a spoon in there. Like we This got, is a teaspoon. I know, and a serving is two of those. You want me to add more milk? No. I'm trying to make it nice and chocolatey for you. It, okay, the It doesn't even mix. The chocolate won't mix. Seriously. Like, it's not mixing. The chocolate won't mix. It won't mix. Well, I guess that that's not gonna work. Okay, well, it's starting to mix. There we go. Oh, Oops. You, you it's, no, it's just like staying super chunky. Have fun with mine. <laughs> this was a bad idea. How do, you, how do you make a milk and then you don't allow it to mix with chocolate powder? Well, you're going to get chunks of chocolate when you drink this. That's fine. I kind of always liked that. When I was a kid, I used to drink like the Nestle's Quick and stuff, and you wanted those chunks of chocolate. Okay, you ready? 
It's way better. That's better. Then again, the chocolate is hiding it. Yeah. Okay. Five things review. Mm -hmm. So if you're new to our channel, you got a high five. So if you're new to our channel, and we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does the keto based on nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Can I ask hmm. what, what made you even think about buying this? Because it's funny. Because it's funny. Okay, we're gonna keep that back there. So on the back here it says, Ripitine is the purest plant protein on earth. Ripple uses a patent pending method to harvest ultra clean protein from peas, removing the impurities that give other plant-based milks their beany flavor and chalky texture. Uh, we'll get into the taste. Uh, the result is the purest, cleanest tasting plant-based milk anywhere in the world with a smooth, rich, and creamy texture, a good source of protein, lower in sugar, and absolutely delicious. So I also have a different description over here. Okay. So mine says, dairy-free as it should be. Um, smart choices can be delicious. Not only is Ripple nourishing for your body and gentle on the planet, but it's also a plant-based milk that's unbelievably creamy and satisfying. Plus it has much more protein, more calcium, and less sugar than dairy milk. Okay, so let's talk about number one, the ingredients. The ingredients are water, ripetine, whatever that is, which is water and pea protein, sunflower oil, and then contains 1% or less of vanilla extract, uh, vitamin A palmate, vitamin D2, vitamin B12, uh, tricalcium phosphate, dipotassium phosphate, sunflower less than the natural flavors, sea salt, guar gum, and galan gum. I have different ingredients. So that's the vanilla flavor. So this one is water pea protein blend, which is water and pea protein, which sounds like it's the same thing, only here they're actually calling it ripetine. Ripetine sunflower oil and then contains less than one percent of vitamin a palmate vitamin d2 vitamin b12 uh dha alga oil tricalcium phosphate dipotassium phosphate sunflower less than sea salt mixed tofurols to preserve freshness natural <coughs> flavors guar gum and galan gum okay so the ingredients aren't super horrible, but they're adding sunflower oil. And sunflower I don't see oil the point in that. is high in omega-6, unless you're using high oleic sunflower oil. I don't understand why they're adding sunflower oil. I guess to give it some fat and maybe some creaminess. Maybe. Because if you give it a little bit of fat, it'll give it some flavor and some creaminess. But I don't know. It's, it's a little bit of a science project. <laughs> like the Just Egg. <laughs> Number two, does it keto based on the nutrition labels? Okay, so I've got the unsweetened. A serving size is 80 calories, which is one cup, four and a half grams of fat, eight grams of protein, less than one total carb, less than one gram of dietary fiber. You have protein? Yeah, eight grams. There it is, okay, I couldn't find it. So is that pretty much the same That's thing? That's pretty much the same thing. Same thing. Okay, so it absolutely keto's based on a nutrition label. Again, I don't understand why they're adding sunflower oil. I guess they're trying to imitate milk. Maybe. And it so they're trying to bring some fat into it with by adding sunflower oil. Uh, number three, how does it taste? Terrible. It's very chalky. Yeah, it does. It it tastes like you put a pea in your mouth. Like you just put a, a handful of peas in your mouth. It's very chalky. Like the galan gum and the guar gum definitely come through to me. Here, you, you want to know the best description that I have for it? If you were ever a kid and you didn't like peas, so you put a ton in your mouth and then you used water to just drink it down, that's exactly what it tastes like. Okay, so, well, here's the thing. Most people on keto are going to use this instead of, like, almond milk or something like that. Are you okay with almond milk? I'm completely fine with almond milk. Okay, because almond milk is watery but not chalky. Yeah. This is, it's chalky. And the funny part is, is their description saying this is less chalky than other pea protein milk substitutes or, so or plant-based substitutes. So, I don't. I would consider, I guess it's a nut base. So, because I would say, like, almonds are, is a plant. Yeah. Right? It's a nut, but it still comes from a plant. But it's just a little too chalky yeah. for me, which is what's affecting the taste. Especially the plain one. The plain yeah. one, their chalkiness really comes through. Number 
for how much did they cost? You bought it. So I bought them. They were on sale at Publix. If you, you guys don't have them up north or wherever you are, only really in the south. They cost four fifty. They were on sale, so they were nine dollars for the book nine dollars for two of them. Yes, but they're also not. They're only what half a gallon. A gallon is around one hundred and two. Forty eight ounces. So, so it's, it's about half a gallon. Forty eight ounces. So. Four fifty. I mean, you're up there with the cost of like a really good regular milk, and that's definitely more money than like buying almond milk or cashew milk yeah. or something like that. Because down here, at least, those are about two dollars and fifty cents to three dollars. So it's a little expensive. Number five, would we recommend it? No, no, <laughs> not at all. I wouldn't recommend buying. I, I mean, I would buy almond milk, but maybe if if you. I would say this, if you don't like almond milk or maybe you have a nut allergy, I like hemp milk. Hemp milk does not have this chalkiness to it. And you can buy the shelf stable stuff yeah. and it's much cheaper than this, but I just don't like it. I and would buy this as a prank and then say it was milk and then see their reaction. I don't like the chalkiness and I don't like the fact that they're adding sunflower oil to it to up the fat in it. So, cause that's, I, I feel like that's what they're doing. They're trying to give it a little bit thicker texture by adding some sunflower oil. But yeah, overall, yeah, no. I'd also like to add that this does not go bad until 2021 in February. February of 2021. Wow. Made in Canada. Okay. This came a long distance. February 2021. Best Buy, it's saying 1417. So I'm confused then. It says Best Buy 221. No. No, this is best until November 14th of 2021. So a wow. year. So this has a year shelf life. That's That can't be good. So yeah. Right? November because it's, yeah, November 14th of 2021. Well, that's going to be our video for today. Now, if you like seeing product review videos like this, take a look at the playlist, which we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're going to find right over here. But whether you do this or you do that, make sure you hit the little button down here to subscribe to our channel and also hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. And until next time, bye. bye.